I'm Amy from Revolutionary Chicken. Everyone knows that chickens are very messy eaters. They just fling their food whenever they eat. So I used this feeder for several years. I don't know about you, but I don't like to waste money. And chicken feed is definitely money. So I made my own feeder. This is the Revolutionary Chicken Feeder and you put it on about a six to an eight inch base. Um, I've got a cinder block right here. So you would set it on something like that for, for full grown chickens. So the nice thing about this feeder is that it has these ports and the chickens just stick their heads inside of the ports and eat their food. Um, I have one right here to show you. The ports are 90 degree angles so no matter how much the chickens throw their food around, it stays in the feeder or they eat it. The other nice thing about these ports is that it has a hood and so the feeder is waterproof. So you can just keep it in your run instead of um, keeping it in your coop. Um, you would want to watch out for sprinklers though because I should say it's rainproof, not waterproof. Horizontal water shooting in there would be a problem. Another nice thing about this feeder, beside it being um, waste proof and rain proof, is it is also mouse proof. And I didn't even realize that until I started using it. Uh, before, when, when I used this feeder, I had so many mouse droppings in here that I actually thought it was part of the chicken food. I thought it was like little black, little black rice grains. And then I realized, Oh no, <laughs> that's mouse poop and my chickens are eating it and that was pretty disgusting. Um, so then when I got my um, when I got my feeder out of the coop and into the run, I noticed I didn't have any mice and I didn't even have any black rice grains in this feeder. And so I just thought, huh, I wonder if it really is mouse proof. So I went and I bought two mice and I put them in a large totes container in my garage and kept them in there for about four days. I, I put peanut butter in the ports to lure them and the mice did not get into the feeder. And so then I thought, okay, wow, that's pretty impressive. But what would be really impressive is if I tried it with 10 mice for a week. And so I went and I bought 10 mice. And at this point, uh, my husband really thought I was crazy. <laughs> he said, just don't do this with rats. So anyway, um, I bought 10 mice for a week. They did not get into the feeder. So I'm pretty comfortable to say uh, you won't have a problem with mice if you use this feeder. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to put the feeder together. So when it comes in the mail, it will come like this and just open it up, take out the ports. Each port has a little notch on the top right there. And all you need to do is push the port in till the notch goes inside the feeder and it'll pop in and that is literally all there is to it it's so so fast a lot of people ask if you can use mash in this type of feeder and well i use mash so yes you can um occasionally you do need to like just thump the feeder a little bit or shake it a little bit um, to get the mash to kind of flow down, but I think you have to do that with pretty much any chicken feeder. It is transparent so that you can see at a glance whether you need to fill it or not. And I use this feeder for six chickens. If you have many more than that, you might need to buy a second feeder. You can buy this feeder at revolutionarychicken.com and when you try it, you will say, where have you been all my life? And your chickens will say, hmm, what happened to all those tasty black rice grains? We had some chickens, no eggs, but they lay. We had some chickens.